welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm kayla first off ignore my background um i had bags back here my room is just a hot mess right now i need to get it all organized but i have christmas stuff up there just yeah anyways though so this is going to be just a short q a there's not much to tell about me and my life um but i figured i would do it since i have not really talked about who i am or anything i figured i would talk about it since i've not really done one for a few years 2019 i think was the last time i really was consistent until this year so why not just do a q a so first off you guys know my name my name is kayla um i'm 32 i just turned 32 in november i have seven children i have four boys and three girls their ages are um seven months that's lorenzo uh kingston is one year liana is five antonio is seven juliana is nine aubrey's ten and brenton is 13. they don't all go by their names so you're not going to hear me always say brenton or juliana especially antonio's nickname is lala juliana is china brent i call him brent i don't call him brenton um, especially with the Bell, Bell's Palsy, it's kind of harder to say his name. Um, and then Liana, we call her Lily. Antonio, we call Lala. I think I already said that. But Liana, we call her Lily. Um, Kingston, Antonio calls him Marvin. Lorenzo's Lorenzo. I call him Renzo. It's just once in a while. You know, we all have nicknames for our kids. But yeah, that's my kids. Um, I was asked on here, what do I do for a living and how do I do it with seven children? I am a PSA at a hospital. If you don't know that is, it's a patient service assistant. I clean up patients, take temperatures, you know, vitals, um, do a little bit of everything. I help the nurses. So how do I do that with seven kids? I think I do it like any other parent would have to do it. You know, it's not like we want to do it. I would rather be home with my kids 24 seven. But the good thing about my job is I only work three days a week, 36 hours a week, unless I want to pick up. So um, I make my own schedule, so therefore I can work three days, be off six days if I want to. Which it makes it nice so I can spend time with the kids and I don't miss out on certain things with them. Usually, um, sometimes my schedule gets changed and that messes up a little bit. But usually my boss is pretty easy and you know, fixes it for me if I need off. Um, so yeah, I'm a PSA, so thanks for asking that question. I don't think I've ever really sit down and actually talked about it. Um... And then the big question, and I know everyone wonders because they see us together, are me and Antonio married? No, we are not married. Um, we are not even what you call relationship status. We split up a few years ago, um, had a very bumpy road, but we are now friends. I mean, I don't know how to explain it. Like, if you would see us together, yeah, you would think we're together. Um, we get along great. We co-parent great. I mean, I couldn't ask for a better dad for my kids because I know a lot of you probably wonder too, is he the father to my youngest two? No, he's not. Um, he's not the father to my oldest two either. We have three together, so our three's right in the middle. Um, Juliana, Antonio, and Leona are our biological children together. Aubrey and Brenton are not and I don't think I've ever really explained that on here either so I'm really happy I'm doing this Q&A because let's just get it out there Aubrey and Brenton are not Antonio's biological children when I got with Antonio um Brenton was just turning three years old literally like we got together a month before his third birthday um and Aubrey was three months old um I won't talk much about Aubrey's dad but I will just say he is not involved um I'm sure one day he will be, maybe if Aubrey wants to be, but he's not as of right now. Um, and then Brenton's dad, he wasn't involved much for 13 years. Well, he was for the first two and a half years, and then he wasn't for really the rest of those 11 years. Um, yeah. So, but Antonio raised my two oldest from three years and three months old. Damn, how did this become more than a Q&A, you guys? This is not just a Q&A. 
Anyways, yes, Antonio is involved with all of my kids, all seven of them. We have three together, four are not his kids. But he takes that role as dad with the other four as well. Um, and I'm very grateful for him. I couldn't ask for a better man. He is literally my best friend. Um, he's the only, him and my kids are the only family I have. I have a cousin that I don't get to see very often. She's like a sister, but we don't really speak much anymore. I wish we did, but we don't. Um, I, you, you're gonna wanna know where my dad, mom, and my sibling is. They all passed um, within seven years from 2015 till this year. They're all they all passed. Maybe one day I'll speak about that, but right now I don't want to. Um, but anyways, yes. So, what else is there to answer? I knew there was one more thing I wanted to answer. I do want to address one thing because I got a funny comment. Well, it was a negative comment, and I don't know really. To me, they was being very rude. Um, just trying to like talk shit I guess but maybe I took it wrong I don't I don't feel like I took it wrong and I'm sure you guys read it you won't think so either but someone asked if I had facial surgery and how it goes so wrong I have never one time on here ever said I had facial surgery I have told you guys many times in many vlogs that I have Bell's palsy I'm gonna post right here what Bell's palsy is what it's caused from um so I will tell you a nerve in your face becomes inflamed from a virus or stress. I've had both. I've had COVID. I've had stress. Obviously, my life's not been easy. Um, losing people and everything else. There's so much to it, but it, that's not something we need to go into. But I'm just saying, yes, there's a lot of stress that I had went through before I got Bell's palsy. And like I said, I had COVID too. I had pneumonia when I was pregnant. There was a lot. Um, so I have Bell's palsy. It lasts six months to a year. Sometimes it could be permanent. Mine has straightened up a little tiny bit. My eyes starting to move. My eyebrow is starting to move up a little bit. I go Wednesday for acupunctures because I've heard that that works to wake up, uh, to wake up the nerve. Hopefully it works because this drives me crazy. Um, but anyways, I'm a very open book, you guys, and I don't care to explain some things. But there's some things I will keep private. One day I will talk about it, but my channel is just now starting to grow and I don't think that I need to talk about certain things as of right now. Um, so yeah, I don't know what else you guys want to know. So let me know down in the comments if you want to know anything else. Um, and I will see you guys in my next vlog, which will probably be a new um, part two to our Christmas haul. And then, um, and then I'm going to also be doing a Christmas Eve box um, haul. So look for those two things. And yeah. So I'm sorry if I talk fast in this video. Um, I just want to get it all out there. And I hope it all made sense to you guys. If it did make sense, something about it, let me know. And I will try to explain better. It's just the baby's cranky, the baby's sick. So I'm trying to do this as fast as I can. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in my next vlog.